That's it? That's the best you got? That's your comeback? Oh, I didn't do it. He claims I live in Canada. I don't live in Canada. I can't show a clip because I conveniently didn't get them before he got banned, but I know other people clipped them. And then this big brained individual forgot to censor his mom's first name, which many people in the world are named Cheryl. I, I, I actually don't know where, where the shit is. I'm still waiting, bro. Like, you have no debating skills. You have no talent whatsoever. You better stay in university because you ain't going anywhere on YouTube and you will be forgotten about. It's easy to sit from a place of judgment when you don't live my life. I'm a 30 year old dude working for $12 an hour living with his mom. I wake up every day sad. I'm lonely. All I wanted to do was like, I was fucking lonely. I wanted to fucking stream and, and have a good time. Have, have a good game. <laughs> But what's up guys, I hope y'all are having a great day today. I'm just gonna give you a warning here, go grab like a drink or some snacks or something, because this is gonna be a very long YouTube video, because we are going to be responding to Hippozone's damn near 20 minute long YouTube video, trying to expose me for texting his aunt, apparently. I think that Griffin is fucking nonchalant about it because he comes off like he doesn't care. He fucking obviously can This motherfucker had texted people in my family. He literally texted people in my family less than a week ago. This man's aunt must be dummy thick or something, and I'm trying to hit her up on the down low. I have no clue, dude. This is all news to me, but according to Hippozone, I was never trying to text his aunt now. The entire time, I was really trying to text him. And the text he produced, which they're completely fake, they're just laughable, bro. Like, this man does a better job of exposing himself than I could ever hope to. But anyway, guys, I don't really think this needs much intro, dude. I think we should just go ahead and get into this absolute masterpiece of Hippo trying to expose expose me for what the fifth or 17th or 85th time i don't even know man i can't even keep track at this point but anyway guys let's go ahead and check out this absolute masterpiece of a youtube video when i first heard about this video this was my reaction Boy, you are in for a show tonight son needless to say I was fucking disappointed. I mean, I could say the same thing about you, dude. I expected more than some obviously fake text messages at this point, dude. You know, when you swing at me, I expect a little bit more. I expect to at least be entertained. But that video was so disappointing, man. I couldn't even milk it for 10 minutes in order to get some easy ad revenue because in all honesty, that's about all you're good for at this point. So I figured this would be a very quick and fun YouTube video we could take a look at here today because our boy Hippozone has once again blessed us with another wonderful YouTube video video topic. So this guy starts off his video talking about how he can't make videos because he has to move, blah, blah, blah. He's lying. I'm not going to tell you how I know that, but he's definitely lying. Like I said, dude, this is disappointing, hippo. Swing at me, bro. What the fuck is this shit? I know it's true because I say it's true. Like, motherfucker, where's the proof, dude? Fucking expose me. Like I said, man, hippo, my arch enemy on YouTube at this point. You're kind of fucking letting me down, dude. But uh, I love how he fakes laugh too, and every time he tries to act like he's actually amused. It's, it's fake, like, but you can tell, but whatever. And of course, he is once again trying to expose me, dude. Apparently, I was trying to slide into his aunt's DMs and, you know, hook up with her or something. Like, apparently, Hippo thinks I want to smash his aunt or something. First of all, creep, I never said you wanted to smash my aunt or anything like that. That's weird. That's creepy. That's something that you and your crazy ass fans made up. I never said you wanted to fuck my aunt. Hey, Hippo, you know, I really like you, dude. I want you to do well. So I'm going to let you in on a little secret here, okay? Don't tell anyone because this may actually surprise you. But me saying that you said that I wanted to fuck your aunt, you know, that was a fucking joke, dude. You know, just lighten up a little bit. Not everything is so fucking serious. But I really just love how defensive he gets, dude. He's like, oh my God, that's weird. How could you even say something like that? I'm like, Jesus Christ, bro. It's just a fucking joke. I never said you wanted to smash my aunt or anything like that. That's weird. That's creepy. That's something that you and your crazy ass fans made up. I never said you wanted to fuck my aunt. Secondly, I didn't. I only said it was her because I didn't want to give you the satisfaction of knowing that I saw your text and that I didn't want your fans to have that satisfaction either. I also think it's fucking weird as fuck that you held my fucking number for a fucking year and then decided to text me. Yeah, that's right, Hippo. I've had your number for over a year at this point, and you know, I've just been sitting on it because ever since you doxxed yourself in your friend's grandmother's basement, I just decided out of the blue, you know, this day of the fucking year, that I was suddenly going to fucking text you for no reason whatsoever. And they're gonna share it! They're gonna give it! 
to fucking Griffin. He can call you up like a man. Ah, uh, now I'm about to be harassed. Even more than I already am, because dickhead likes to share private information. Wait, where's my phone? Let, uh, oh, wait, it's in my hand. Let's share your fucking phone number, sure? I can't, I can't do it without stopping the video. Give me your fucking phone number! I don't know, you're just going to openly... Yeah, you're in my basement. My grandma's right there, and you're cursing your fucking fat fucking asshole. Okay? You got retribution. Shut the fuck up. Happy birthday. I'm cursing my fat fucking asshole. Yeah, I mean, this shit is so fucking fake, dude. Like, honestly, this is a cry for attention. What's wrong, hippo? Those stream numbers low? I mean, just let me know, dude. I'll announce your streams in my Discord server. I'm sure people would love to watch that shit. You're fucking weird. You're creepy as fuck, just like your fans. Something, you know, blow out her back or some shit. I don't even know, dude. But basically, in one of his streams, he accused me of texting one of his family members. No, I cut out my clip because we don't need to watch that. Why? Because it makes you look bad? Let's go ahead and play the clip but once again, just for our good buddy Hippo, dude. This motherfucker had texted people in my family. He literally texted people in my family less than a week ago. But can we just take a minute to appreciate the fact that this man is playing Overwatch in fucking windowed mode and recording gameplay like Jesus Christ, dude, what fucking year is this, 2008? But I love how anytime someone accuses this man of something, he fucking plays it off and completely denies it like he fucking doesn't do anything wrong. Like he's fucking Mr. Perfect over here. Sure, let's act like I didn't do it by saying I didn't do it. I mean, this is about as much critical thinking as you would expect from a fifth grader in special ed, dude. According to this man, if you deny doing something, obviously that means you're guilty. Because only someone who did something would deny doing that thing. Like, what the fuck kind of logic is this shit? Because that's, that always works in court. That's, that always works in court. Apparently now he's gonna take me to court, guys. I mean, I would love to see Hippozone get in front of a judge and try to claim that I'm guilty. And when asked, like, what evidence do you have? Hippozone just says, well, I know he's guilty because he tried to deny it when I accused him of it. Like, the judge would laugh in your fucking face. But the text he used to try and prove this are the exact same text that he has put in this YouTube video, which I find very funny, but this entire thing is a complete joke, dude. Here we go again with that fake laugh, dude. Oh my god, it's so fucking hilarious. Look at that, I can do it too. Wow, Hippo, that was very convincing. Bravo, my dude. I mean, shit, this inspired me to go back to a video I made on you over a year ago, because this clip still applies perfectly. Maybe it was really good acting. Maybe I'm just that good, and I should have went into Hollywood. And the Oscar goes to... A very low IQ person. I love how he tries to fake laugh and act like it doesn't matter to him and he doesn't care, but he is mad, and you can tell by the tone of his voice that he's mad as hell. And if he didn't care, why is he going out of his way to make a video to talk about it? Money. To try to expose me for lying or whatever, blah, blah, blah. It don't matter. The, the fact is, is I did threaten to dox him, and I do have his number, and I can dox him. And that's all there is to it, but it's fine. It's fine. I, and I got suspended from Twitch because I did threaten to dox him. It wasn't that you threatened to dox me, bro. You thought you were doxing me when you released that Canadian phone number on stream. And the best part is you got banned for thinking that you doxed me when you put out a phone number from a completely different fucking country, dude. You know, that is the definition of fucking playing yourself. But according to Hippo, I'm the one in denial here. I'm the one who got fucking exposed. Uh, I'm not banned, although he'd love to say banned, because apparently people don't know the difference between a ban and a suspension, but fine. I wouldn't expect little kitties and morons to know the difference, but it's whatever. Like, one look at these text messages, and you can tell this shit is so fucking fake. But anyway, I figured we'll go ahead and watch his YouTube video, dude. It's only like a minute long, and then after we watch it, we'll just completely fucking shit on it, dude. I love how this clown, every time someone calls him out on his bullshit, tries to blow it off and talk about, we'll shit on it because it's wrong. No, nah, bitch. You didn't shit on shit. I, I already know you didn't, but whatever. We'll, we'll talk about it when you get into it. Jesus Christ, man. The fucking roast at this part. Like, this dude is completely fucking owning me, guys. Like, I really don't blame anyone who wants to unsub at this point. Like, this shit is just bad for me, dude. 
But I think it's very funny that, you know, the video just cuts off completely randomly right as he's about to say that Griffin denies trying to get into contact with one of my family members through text messages when in this video he was trying to claim that I was trying to text him this entire time. So the story changes as it needs to. As I already explained, I said it wasn't me because I didn't want people knowing you had my number. I also didn't want you to have the satisfaction of knowing you actually did text me because you're a fucking annoying little shit. But it doesn't matter. I mean, it's like I said in that video, he changes the story whenever it's convenient for him because apparently his aunt getting harassed by me in the text messages wasn't getting enough sympathy points for him. Poor little hippo, he's just so desperate for attention. It changed because I'm just tired of your bullshit. And you can act like, oh my god, the story changes, it needs to, so he must be lying. No, I initially said that you didn't text me because as I said, I didn't want people knowing you had my number because it's fucking embarrassing. And two... I didn't want you having the satisfaction of knowing that you actually got through to me. So which one is it, dude? You said you're not a liar, but then you just admitted that you lied. So are we just supposed to believe you for the rest of the YouTube video? Like, this is what I mean. This motherfucker changes the narrative so quick. And this entire video is some sad fucking attempt to try and get me to dox myself. Because I don't fucking want to talk to you. I don't give a fuck about you. You're fucking weird. I mean, forgive me for having to press X to doubt on that shit after seeing this damn near 20 minute YouTube video you uploaded talking shit about me, and that's not even to mention the countless hours you spend talking about me in your live streams, bro. Like, in all honesty, I think you really do like talking about me, but, you know, like I said before, I'm gonna have to press X to doubt on that shit for little hippo to try and expose me, dude. But once you really start looking at these text messages, you really just start to realize what an absolute genius hippo zoned is. But it says, trying to get in touch with you regarding, and then he blanked it out and said my mother's name. Now, when he originally showed this on stream, it was not blanked out. But you know, just to prove what an absolute fucking brainlet hippo zoned is, just look at this shit. <laughs> So he tries to show how dumb I am because I didn't blur out Cheryl, my mom's first name. See, when I blurred out my mom's name up top, it had her full fucking name. Something he pulled from social media because he knows my entire name. Yeah, that's right, guys. I got fucking exposed here. But in reality, this is actually what happened. You know those ads you find on the internet? It's like hot milfs in your area. Well, you know, I found Hippozone's mom on that shit, dude. Okay? And she wouldn't return my messages. So the reason that I was sliding into Hippozone's aunt's DMs was not because she was dummy thick, bro. It's because I was actually trying to hook up with his mom, dude. That is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So help me, guys. God. But I mean, at this point, it just shows you how delusional this guy is. Like, why would I text you about your mom? Like, what the fuck even is this shit, dude? Now, her full name includes my last name. Now, if you do, re and people already know my first name. So if you do research with my first name and my last name, people already know what I look like so they can stalk me on social media. I already have enough of you people stalking me, so I don't need more of it. So I wasn't going to fucking put my mom's full name, including my last name, on the fucking internet so you people can fucking constantly and, and continually harass me more than you already do. So let me get this straight. You don't want your mom's full name out there, but you already showed her full name on stream. And on top of that, you said that her last name is your last name, and people already know what your last name is on the internet. So the only part they were missing was her first name, which you now just confirmed is Cheryl. Like, Jesus Christ, dude. Are you actually fucking dumb? That being said, I don't really give a fuck if he thinks that I'm stupid or not. There's plenty of people in the world named Cheryl, so fuck you and fuck everybody watching this video. It's not even about what we think at this point, it's what we know. So yeah, man, this is definitely the guy who's gonna fucking expose me, but on top of that, there's another example in these text messages that really just looks suspicious. It says, I know who you are, Bravo1, in this little fucking tongue emoji thing, which I've never sent in my entire fucking life. Yes, the fuck you have. You know you have, because you're a fucking weirdo. But that's fine. Whatever. Deny it all you want. Of course, I've never said that before in my life. We could go back through YouTube comment history or YouTube comments to me, and you fucking will see it. But it's whatever. I mean, if it's so common, go find a single example, dude. At least I don't delete my comments, my YouTube videos, and my entire fucking channel. But you're not gonna do that, because this entire YouTube video is just a bunch of baseless claims in a desperate attempt to get sympathy points. Oh, and I love how he always tried to say, fucking expose me. But, boy, you're fucking weird. You're fucking... Look at the people making videos about me. One dude literally looks like fucking Beavis the fucking butthead. Like, come on, now your fucking fans are weird because you're fucking weird. You, you come on the internet and you talk shit. But 
you you don't you talk shit about other people who put themselves out there, who make content, who go out of their way to try to entertain others. I'm willing to bet that just one video I've made on you has probably entertained more people than your entire history on YouTube and Twitch has combined. But I promise, I'm not trying to flex on you, dude. But I really just love how he has this obsession with putting yourself out there, like showing your face on camera. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, it's a little suspect that you want to see my face that badly. But you don't make anything creative. You tear down other people's work because you fucking can't do anything creative yourself. Come up with a fucking original video that's not shitting on something, and then we'll talk. Well, I thought we were talking right now. In fact, you're so unfucking creative you took somebody else's idea and made it work. When you first started making YouTube videos, you used to show off your shitty ass Xbox collection. All your fucking $100 limited edition games, you spoiled little bitch. Bro, this man is actually tilted over the fact that I could afford $100 versions of video games. Like, I didn't realize that was a flex, but I find it very odd that this is coming from Hippozone, the self-proclaimed stock market millionaire. And if you guys want something entertaining to do, go to his stream and ask him about all the money he made on the stock market, dude. This man started with like $10,000 and made millions. Like, come on now. Don't sit here and act like you're fucking creative. When you actually started trying to make creative content, your content was shit. Holy shit, guys. Hippo thinks my content is actual shit, dude. That's it. I've been pushed to the edge. I have to go swallow a whole pack of Tic Tacs live on stream. Only real hippo OGs will get that reference. But apparently this is how I respond in YouTube videos and in the comment section. And it says, whoever this is got weird issues talking about hippos and griffins. And now Bravo One PC. Now notice how that message never mentioned Bravo One PC. It just says Bravo One. Hippo is the one that responded with Bravo One PC. That's how you know this shit is 100% fucking fake. So because my phone autocorrected Bravo One to Bravo One PC, it's, it's fucking fake. So first of all, let me get this right. Let me get this right. Why the fuck would I write Bravo One PC and then it, be, it, it becomes fake? I'm not entirely sure, but since your fans love video proof, I'll give you some. When I fucking text on my phone right now and I type Bravo One, it auto fucking defaults to Bravo One PC. But sure, sure. You're, it's fake because I accidentally allowed my phone to correct, autocorrect it to Bravo One PC. Now see, if it was fake and I sent the messages to myself, I would have wrote Bravo One. Okay, I alter my autocorrect all the time, dude. Like, it would be really awkward if I handed someone my phone, they type a P, and the first recommended term is Pornhub.com. But what does autocorrect even have to do with anything, dude? You are desperate at this point. I wouldn't have made a mistake, but sure. Because I made a mistake, because my phone auto-corrected something, it's fucking fake. You're fucking dumb. Damn, bro, that self-awareness is in the fucking negatives at this point. I don't even understand where or how in your brain does that even equate to the message being fake. You said Bravo 1, I replied Bravo 1 PC, but that means it's fake because I accidentally replied wrong? Who the fuck would go out of their way to fake a message and then reply wrongly? Do we even need to answer that question? Because I think it's pretty fucking obvious at this point. You're fucking stupid, dude. You know, he's not even regurgitating the same shit to try and prove that he doesn't know who the fuck this is. I know who the fuck it is. It's your creepy ass, and you can deny it all you want, but in the next part of this video, it's going to prove that it is you, and you're mad. Yeah, that completely just went over his head. I can't really say I'm surprised, though, but I wasn't talking about that you didn't know who I was or whoever's supposed to be texting you, dude, because apparently I'm the one that texted him. I was talking about the part about Bravo One PC. You were acting like you didn't know what Griffins or Hippos or Bravo One PC meant because these texts were supposed to be originally you trying to prove that I was contacting one of your family members. After that, you then tried to say that I was trying to contact you, which is why these texts make absolutely Absolutely no fucking sense in the context that I was trying to text you instead of your fucking aunt, bro. I mean, Hippo, this is honestly embarrassing for you, dude. But, you know, just to make it even worse, dude, on stream, which I wasn't able to get the clip because he got nuked off of Twitch for trying to fucking dox me. What a fucking convenient excuse. You couldn't get the clip because I got nuked off of Twitch for trying to fucking dox you. No, I'm sure one of the many viewers that were there gave you the fucking clip. The reason why you won't show the clip or won't show what I did on Twitch is because it fucking doxes you. 
Okay, Hippo, let me explain to you something real quick. When someone is banned or suspended, whatever you want to call it off of Twitch, when you try to go to their Twitch channel, you're greeted with this message. As you can see, when I try to go to yours, dude, I can't view the clips. So therefore, I cannot download them and cannot provide them in the YouTube video. It's really not that fucking complex, but apparently, I want to keep my Canadian phone number a secret. Now, I'm not fucking banned from Twitch. Again, I'm suspended, but that's fine. But it, I find it convenient as fuck that he, can't, he couldn't get the clip that exposed his fucking information. That's right, guys. I'm so concerned about this Canadian phone number getting leaked. That's why when Hippo joined my Discord earlier and was spamming the fuck out of this phone number in the chat, I did absolutely nothing. I don't give a shit, dude. I don't live in Canada, so congratulations. Once again, you have played yourself, my dude. But please, tell me more about how I don't want this phone number to get out, dude. I really don't want to get doxxed by the master hacker Hippo Zoned. And no, that's not even a joke, bro. Like, he literally got banned from Twitch because he was threatening to release my docs on fucking stream. I love how he fucking laughs it off and tries to act like he's not mad. He's mad. People have been texting him crazy. I'm sure they have been. I don't give a fuck. And I haven't been banned. It's called suspended. I'll be back. Just wait for it, pussy. I mean, thank God, dude. I really don't know what else I would do without those just quality streams to entertain me. And on top of that, they made me quite a bit of money, too. But he claimed that this text message came from a number that started with 780, which if you look up that area code, it's from Alberta, Canada. And in case you guys don't know, I live in the fucking United States. I've been to Canada once in my entire life, and it's when I was seven years old and I went to Niagara Falls. That's about it, dude. No, you don't, dude. You live in Canada. You say you, you live in the United States. Show us proof. You're always asking me to provide proof. Your fans always want proof from me. Prove that you live in the United States. I'd love to see it. This is one of the many times in this YouTube video where Hippo tries to bait me into revealing personal information about myself, you know, to prove him wrong or whatever. Like, this whole video was a sad attempt to try and get me to dox myself because Hippo has nothing on me. And that's the best part of this video, dude. Like, he's acting like I have the burden of proof, even though he's the one throwing the accusations. Like, if you're saying I'm a liar, prove I'm a fucking liar, dude. I mean, the thing is, is I'm not the one who's throwing accusations, so I don't have to bring any fucking proof to the table. But according to Hippo Zoned, I live in Canada. I am an American though, but I live in Canada and I used a Canadian cell phone number to try and contact him. Now, the funny thing is, you know, he could very easily prove that, you know, this number is the one that actually contacted him, but instead he provided the screenshot with no proof of the phone number. He had no problem sharing the phone number on his stream that got him banned when he claimed it was my phone number and that he was doxing me, which that's why he's banned from Twitch right now is because he fucking threatened to dox me live on stream. So let me get this straight. You know why I'm suspended on Twitch. Keep loving, you love that band word though. But you know why I'm suspended on Twitch. And then you ask me to go ahead and fucking expose the number here on YouTube again to do the very same thing that I now can't stream on Twitch for. I made the mistake once. I'm not stupid enough to do it again. The only reason why I'm doing this is because of quarantine. As soon as quarantine's over, I'm done. I'm leaving again. I mean, you said it yourself. You don't care about this shit. You're going to leave anyway. So go ahead and dox me, bro. Why does it matter if you get banned for it? I mean, you literally said it yourself. You're only here because of quarantine. So why do you care if you get fucking nuked from YouTube? And also to make it even worse for you, dude, you didn't have a problem posting the phone number in my Discord server like 15 times, even though doxing, if you know, posting your own text-free number is doxing, you know, that's against Discord TOS. But you really really didn't give a shit about that either, so what's the problem here? But that's fucking hilarious! It's fucking hilarious that you're asking me to do something that you already know I got fucking punished for when YouTube has the same privacy rules as Twitch. Like, you, you can't be this fucking thick, dude. You're asking me to fucking do something openly or willingly do something that I already know is going to get me fucked. No, I'm not dumb. I did it once, not dumb. But you are clearly asking me to show video proof or number proof or whatever the fuck you're asking for. I, I honestly, I can't follow the logic here. So you, again, you know why I'm suspended, but then you ask me to do the very same thing that got me suspended on one platform over on another. Shut, like, damn. Like, you can't be that dumb. You really can't. The only reason why I'm doing this is because of quarantine. As soon as quarantine's over, I'm done. I'm leaving again. I mean, this just shows you exactly how quickly the story changes with Hippo Zoned. When one thing doesn't play well for him, he completely switches the narrative to try and make himself look good. And as you can see, this dude is just fucking embarrassing himself at this point. And, well, I was gonna get the clips, but I wasn't able to download them because, you know, his Twitch channel is kind of fucking nuked right now, so I can't really go and download them. You said this shit like five times already. We get it. I'm suspended from Twitch. 
But I, I love how much this man revels in my defeat, in my punishment, so to speak. Like, this guy is fucking, he, he has it out for me so bad that no matter what I do, he will try to find a way to expose me for whatever the fuck he wants to try to expose me for. You have done that yourself. I don't think it's any secret. I really love people like self-destructing, you know, just completely embarrassing themselves all on their own without any help from me. And well, you are like the perfect source for that. So yes, I do enjoy the fact that you got banned off of Twitch because you tried to dox me. And then it turns out the dox is this bullshit phone number from a completely different fucking country. You know, forgive me for being amused. Not realizing that I don't really give a fuck. The only reason why I'm doing this is so I can get more subscribers, more views, more likes, so I can have more people coming into my streams being toxic. I love the attention. There's any shit else better to do right now. Fucking love the attention. I mean, if that's the case, then why have you deleted your YouTube channel over five times at this point, my dude? I thought all that negative attention was exactly what you wanted. Because people did clip it, but I mean, you can ask anyone in my Discord who watched the stream. Wait, 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 hold up. So someone did clip it. And you could get the footage if you wanted to. You just don't. Because it does expose your information. Which is hilarious. Because that's what I said. I, I said uh, one of the fucking many faggots that were watching my stream definitely fucking clipped the, the, the doxing or whatever. And that's fine. But you conveniently can't get footage, but you know that they clipped it. And I'm sure they shared it in Discord. As you're about to go on and talk about. I already explained this before, but you know, we'll retouch on it just in case our boy Hippo didn't catch on. When you're suspended from Twitch, I cannot even visit your profile. I can't view your old clips. I can't see your VODs or anything like that. So I don't even know what the fuck the problem is here, dude. Like if you wanted me to download these clips, don't get fucking banned from Twitch, dude. Even with the links to the clips that people sent me, I can't even view it. It takes me to the same page where it says, unless you have a time machine, this page is gone. So I don't really know what you expect me to do. I literally cannot download these clips. And they'll tell you that he said that the area code was 780 and that I lived in Canada. And this entire situation is a complete fucking joke, dude. Like, if he really wanted to prove this was real, he could show, like, an actual video of him scrolling through the text messages, show the number that it's from. But even then, I don't live in fucking Canada, so... First of all, that screenshot was the entire conversation. I said, I'm blocking you, block the number. That was it. This, I'm a ball TV with my fucking hands up. I'm not starting my fucking self. You fucking stupid bitch. This stupid fucking justice. All fucking righteous fucking... Oh my god, guys, we have some breaking news here. Hippozone joined my Discord server today and posted a ton of screenshots of these conversations between him and me, some of which were happening in real time. Now, this goes against his claim that he blocked this number in this video, but on top of that, it makes him look like even more of a hypocrite because he included the phone number this time in Discord, which is against Discord TOS, against doxing, apparently, if in case this was actually my number. Now, I'm not going to show the number in this video because Hippozone will probably launch some bullshit privacy claim and claim that I leaked his phone number because this is probably his text free account that he made so I am not going to include it in this video but if you want to see it for yourself ask anyone in my discord server chances are they have the numbers saved but that concludes this breaking news update now back to the video that's the entire conversation I also deleted it because I didn't need that shit cluttering up my phone like I delete all my text I learned a long time ago to delete text because, especially when you're dating somebody, they like to go through your shit and start to ask you dumbass questions about shit that is, has nothing to do with them or it is, isn't even about them. But that's beside the point. The way he was talking and like stuttering and shit, talking about how women go through his phone or some shit, it sounded very similar to how an incel would try and prove that they're not a fucking virgin, dude. Like, Jesus Christ, that was cringe. The point is, is even if I did provide video proof, people would still say it's fucking fake and you would still deny it. No matter what I do, you would deny it. And that's fine. You're going to always say, oh, I didn't do it. But I guarantee you this would hold up in court if it ever came to that. That's right, Hippo. Take me to Canadian court. I fucking dare you, dude. Go for it. Run free. Search the streets of Alberta, Canada for me, dude. I dare you. Like, you won't ever find me, man. I'm like a ghost. I remain hidden. But, you know, I wish you the best of luck in your endeavors, dude. I hope one day you bring me to justice. It obviously wasn't me. It could be someone pretending to be me, but it's most likely that Hippozone is just bullshitting and this is him sending himself messages to try and get fucking sympathy points and once again desperately try to fucking expose me. Dude. Dude. I should, I should really slow that down and play it really slowly like you do to other people's shit. Dude. But I won't. 
I fucking won't, because I don't really have time for that. Just like, I don't have time to sit here and make fake text messages. That's kind of ironic, considering making fake text messages takes probably a fraction of the time that making a 19-minute exposed video on me does. Honestly, I wasn't even going to show it, because I knew that it would come down to this. I knew no matter what I said or, or what it was, People would deny it for you. You would deny it. Everyone would try to expose me for wasting my time going out of my way to create a fake text message stream, which I really have better things to do with my life. You're not really convincing me, bro, in all honesty. I think you probably would, man. You seem like the type of guy who doesn't really have shit going on. In fact, you're about to brag a little bit later in this video that you just sit at home and play fucking video games all day. You don't even have a fucking job. But you guys don't have to believe me, just like you won't believe the messages. I really don't care. I don't want your sympathy. I want you to stop sending text messages to my phone. I want you to stop being a creep. I just want you to just be normal. You're the most fucking retarded ass person I've ever met. You kind of lost me there. You were talking about a bunch of people, and then you said you're the most retarded person that I ever met. Did you start looking in the mirror finally? Did you finally realize that the only person you need to talk to about these text messages is yourself? Did you finally gain some self-awareness? No, who am I fucking kidding? We're talking about hippo zoned here. You come on the internet, right? You expose no personal details about yourself. You come out here and try to call other people out on their bullshit. But every time someone calls you out on your bullshit, you brush it off and act like they're not right. That they don't have a point. Oh my god, dude. I don't even care, dude. This dude. That dude. Ha <laughs> dude. Like, you're fucking... It's, it's unbelievable. You say other people can't handle, handle criticism. Your people say this. But every time someone calls you out on doing some dumb shit... You act like you didn't do it or you brush it off or you lie and say you didn't do it. So basically what I'm taking away from this is you're mad that I know how to argue online. Like I can actually articulate myself in a way to defend my points when people try to call me out. Like that sounds like something you should work on personally. I don't really know why you're all up on my dick over that shit. And on top of that, you know, excuse me for being smart enough for not showing my face. And on top of that, not doxing myself on multiple fucking occasions, dude. I am so sorry for not being a complete idiot on the internet. You know, my bad. I'll try to do better now next time or then you tr you come back with a response because you know you're fucking wrong i just find it hilarious really that every time someone calls you out on your bullshit you act like you don't care when in reality you would do because most of the time, like I said, you make responses to them calling you out. Yeah, because I like money and drama sells on YouTube. You know what they say, never waste a good controversy, but it doesn't really go any farther than that, man. People love drama. I enjoy laughing at videos trying to expose me, just like this one. And, well, I make a pretty decent penny off of them, too. So I think it's a win-win for everybody involved, except the people who try to shit on me. You know, it doesn't really work out too well for them. Trying to defend your point. Motherfucker, you don't have a point. You're just one of the most lame, pathetic excuses for a YouTuber that I've ever met. Damn, bro. Fucking roasted. Like, Jesus Christ. I don't think there's any recovery after that shit. People are calling you a bully, but you're not really a bully because your humor is dry and stupid. The only people that like you are retarded folk and special ed kids. That's why almost everyone... Like, you got that Smash kid following in your footsteps. This dude is clearly fucking special ed. He's clearly fucking retarded. Like, that's most of your fan base. Fucking low self-esteem retards that bring themselves up or build themselves up by talking down to other people. I think it's funny you're shit-talking Super Smash 97 when you literally cloud chase off of this dude. Like, his channel is three times the size that yours ever was. And you take every single opportunity to take attention away from his channel. In fact, I'll link Super Smash's Hippo Zone documentary in the description if you guys want to go watch it. You know, he's a pretty cool dude, but Hippo, dude, you can talk shit about me. You can call me every name in the book. I really don't give a shit, but don't talk shit about my subs, bro. I know you're jealous you don't have an actual fan base and people that enjoy your content, but don't talk shit about my subs, bro. That's taking it too far. Are. Because they're pathetic excuse for human beings. I mean, Hippo, you said you were like a millionaire or some shit from the stock market, so go buy a mirror, do yourself a favor, and take a long, hard look in that shit, because I think you'll find the biggest problem in your life is right in front of you. But that's fine. Dude, because this man will not let shit go, and he is desperately grasping onto this drama with me because it's the only way he's gonna stay relevant, dude. You know, he loves to say that people try to clout chase off of his name, but but I hate to tell you, bro, the only reason people actually give a shit about you is because I've made the videos about you at this point. Oh, you're really feeling yourself right there. You're really feeling yourself right there. It's fucking adorable. Motherfucker, you don't matter. This doesn't matter. I wouldn't even be back if we weren't in quarantine. I was out there doing shit, making moves, making money, which is why I can sit here on quarantine and do whatever the fuck I want. It's easy to sit from a place of judgment when you don't live my life. I'm a 30-year-old dude working for $12 an hour, living with his mom. I can't afford this shit! 
Yes, please tell me more about that, but I never said that I mattered. I never said any of this shit mattered. I simply stated a fact that no one cares about you outside of the fact that I've made the videos on you because you have deleted your channel five times. All the fans or whatever you had are long gone. The only people who come to your streams now are fucking trolls. And if you want to debate me on that shit, good luck. Oh, I had to go to college. Yeah, well, I didn't. I'm still making more money than you. Wanna bet? Because I'm gonna have to press X to down on that shit, but you know, I'm not trying to flex on you guys, but I am 100% trying to flex on Hippo. Again, that's why I can sit here, drink all I want, play my video games, bills paid, money's made, and I'm good. You're still here making content on YouTube just because you need money. Your little fucking $100, maybe a month. I mean, if you said $100 a day, then maybe, but even then, that's kind of underselling it by quite a bit, dude. <laughs> I make that in a day. Congrats, bro. I make that in three hours. So, you know, you claim to hate me, but you really love the attention that I give you, and that's why you always make it a point to announce to me whenever you make a return to YouTube. You're absolutely damn right. Every time I come back, I make a point to send a comment on your video or call you out on some way because it brings your fucking toxic-ass fan base my way, and that's fine. They want to come and laugh at me not realizing that... When they're here, that's exactly what I want. I do want the attention. There ain't shit else to do right now, so yes, I want to piss off a bunch of little kids. I find that fucking hilarious. I actually enjoy it, because I don't care. Yes, please, Hippo, please tell us how much you don't care, because this 20-minute video you uploaded definitely demonstrates that perfectly. You know, at least I could say I'm doing this shit for money, which is 100% true, plus it's very entertaining for me as well. And you guys seem to enjoy these videos, but Hippo here, he loves the attention. So he says, but I think it really just does infuriate him on some level that people side with me over him. YouTube is a platform just to do something until quarantine's over. As soon as quarantine's over, I'm gone. I'm going back to doing what I was doing. But see, this, for you, is everything. You claim that you finished college, but I know you didn't. I mean, that's kind of weird, guys. The last time I checked, I did graduate from college. Like, what the fuck's going on here? Maybe the elusive hacker Hippo Zoned hacked into my college's database and changed all my grades, dude. But let me check. I'm going to run a degree audit for you guys just to prove this dude wrong. And as you can see here, I'm completely done. The circle is all green, which means I've completed all my credit hours. And if you look over to the right, I finished with a 3.88 GPA out of 4, which is basically all A's. So not only did I graduate, but I I completely fucking dominated that shit, dude. I actually did really well in college, so... Sorry to say, Hippo, but the internet is not all I have, you know? I understand that it's all you have, and that's fine, but you don't, you don't have to try to bring me down to your level, dude. You claim that you're moving, but I know you're not. You claim you live in the States, but I know you don't. And you make a lot of fucking claims. You lie a lot to these kids, and these kids idolize you, and that's fine. To them, you're their god. To me, you're just somebody to give me attention for now, because I'm bored. I mean, what can I say, dude? I might as well change my channel name to Griffin the God. And, you know, I expect all my little cult members to go click the link in the description below, buy some merch. You need to go buy a t-shirt or a hoodie or else you will be kicked out of the cult, okay? It's harsh rules, I know, but it has to be done. We need to distinguish ourselves because we are now the cult of Griffin the God. But apparently, because I upload YouTube videos to the internet, I'm apparently considered a god by some people. Like, what the fuck is this shit? But anyway, guys, that is the latest chapter in the Hippo Zone drama. If you did enjoy it, make sure to drop a like on it. I would greatly appreciate it. Wait, the fucking video's over? I'm still waiting for you to shit on my, my video. You, you mentioned one thing about how I forgot to censor my mom's first name. Where's the shit, bro? That's it? That's the best you got? That's your comeback? Oh, I didn't do it. He claims I live in Canada. I don't live in Canada. I can't show a clip because I conveniently didn't get him before he got banned, but I know other people clip them. And then this big-brained individual forgot to censor his mom's first name, which many people in the world are named Cheryl. I, I actually don't know where, where the shit is. I'm still waiting, bro. I mean, I don't know what else you wanted me to say. You gave me a one-minute video to work with. There wasn't a lot of material for me to shit on, dude. So I managed to draw it out to six minutes. I wasn't able to hit that magical 10-minute mark to make it really worth my time. But trust me, this video is going to more than make up for that shit. Uh, don't worry, I'll just sit here and wait. Actually, no, I won't. I got better shit to do. Your content is garbage. That that was just fucking... But That was the best you had? I'm so fucking... You've come at me with some better shit in the past. I've made a lot of Twitch clips over the last few fucking uh, weeks that your people sent you. Well, it's kind of hard to get to those Twitch clips when, you know, you're kind of banned. So <laughs> I don't really know what you want me to do there. But I have a feeling, like I said, this video is going to more than make up for that shit. 
That's the best you got. Come on, use them. I want you to use them. Man, I was really expecting to get shit on. I'm really disappointed. That's unfortunate. Oh, and I'm still waiting for the part where you prove it wasn't you. And I'm still waiting for the part that you prove it was me, because apparently, according to Hippo, the accused has the burden of proof, which is the complete opposite. If you're throwing an accusation at someone, it's up to you to prove that accusation is correct, not the person who's innocent in this situation, which is me, dude. Why the fuck would I honestly text you? You were like the one person in the world who, if I texted with my real number, I know 100% you would leak that shit because you fucking hate me. Why the fuck would I ever give you any personal information? Like, it literally makes zero sense, but you know, apparently... Apparently, I'm guilty because I haven't proved myself innocent, so I don't really know what else I could fucking say in this situation. You guys want me to prove it was him? How about he prove it wasn't him? You can't just say, oh, I didn't do it, and that's the end of it. That, yeah, because that shit works at all in the real world. It fucking does it. It never does, and it never will. Oh, Wells. I'm done. Fuck y'all, I'm out. And just like that, the video is over. You know, this was an absolutely fantastic YouTube video from start to finish. It had me on the edge of my seat. Overall, Hippo Zoned, 10 out of 10, bro. This was very entertaining. And just time flied going through this because this video is going to be an absolute beast and a half to edit, guys. It's like 1230 in the morning right now, and I have a very long night ahead of me. So let's go ahead and wrap this shit up. You know, I got overall exposed. Hippo Zone is right. I'm just a piece of shit on the internet, so feel free to unsub right now but if you did enjoy the video make sure to drop a like on it i would greatly appreciate it and if you made it to the end of this video thank you so much i really do appreciate it like this is going to be a long motherfucking video like the longest video i've ever made so if you did make it to the end you are definitely a real one and i appreciate the absolute fuck out of every single one of you so thank you so much for all the recent support and for taking the time out of your day to check out this video and i will catch you guys next time